Ultimate Solo. Let's go. Ultimate Solo. This is Eka. She is all alone. She has no base, no outpost, no locker. She cannot craft play cures. She's battled through green zone, standard zone, dread zone, nightmare, and now she's in lethal zone. And sometimes you just gotta get your battle axe and go all barbarian on them. Let's go, Eka. Ooh. Okay, that Juggy doesn't seem to know I'm here yet. Okay, I think he knows I'm here now. Alright, we can't mess with the Jug. We'll be back. Let's get him out of here. Where's the big boy? Does that shovel on the front minimize the damage to the car? Is that a dumb question? Screamer, Jug. All right, let's get this guy out of here. If you're wondering how I got this car, I'll show you in a flashback in just a minute. I want him to follow me down the street. Where'd he go? Where'd he go? Where'd the big boy go? Did he just disappear? Does that happen? I don't think that happens. All right. Yeah, because that big boy, we're going to just take a lap. And we heard the Baba Yaga, the boogeyman. Man, I'm hearing him, but I'm not seeing him. I don't understand. Stuff is just manifesting. grenade in there. Okay, where is that dude? Where is he? Let's get rid of him. There he is. Duts, duts, duts. Okay, I want to chuck this grenade in there, obviously. Okay, this ought to do it. Yeah, it's getting it. Okay, phase two.
I need some in case we get a feral. Sweet. Another one bites the dust. All right, flashback to how I got the car. Oh, dang it. Now flashback to how I got the car. There's the jug. Dang it. Oh, it might be time to call in that car. We've earned it. Well, that car is set up for a cheese whenever we get a minute. All right, let's get to somewhere safe and call in a car. Crazy. Crazy start. You think, oh, this will be an easy one. Nope. Nope. And it's more storage, too, so that's okay. All right, let's find a place. And let's call in a car. Right here looks like a good spot. I mean, I'm tempted to sneak back and get that car. We have 1,900. We could use the extra storage. We could use a legit ride that's not all banged up. And that guy's calling his friends. And it's dark. Yeah, let's go. Nice. Nice. Expensive. But nice. Ultimate solo. Let's go. I need some in case we get a feral. Oh, I got him. I thought I had him. All right, well, so much for loot in that little area. I'd love to get to my van right about now. We got a lot of Zeds coming in over there.
All right. Well, we got some survivors over here, but every time I go there, it's like a juggernaut fest. Okay. Let's see if we can get over here and then sneak mode over to our van. Kind of reload. Oh, I can still search this stuff? Cool. Yeah, I guess because it's not like an, an enclave yet. It's just a dude. Yeah, we don't get this opportunity to look for stuff very often. It's kind of refreshing. It's kind of quiet. Maybe we can trade it to her. I need to get to the van and kind of reload. As you saw, my inventory is pretty empty. Let's see if she'll trade. I think it's like a, hey, can I follow you type thing. Which, we're not enlisting followers for like pay. Like, I can't pay an enclave to have someone follow me. We did say, we never really put a rule on it intentionally, on someone like this following me on a survivor in need. However, I'm, I'm going to shy away from it most of the time. Um, shoot, see, I, I want to trade with her, but that's it. I don't want to, I'm going to drop this stuff here. I don't want her following me. Um, you know what, let's just, let's just get it done. Um, I, I don't plan on taking out a plague heart with her. I'm in, um, agree to kill the neighborhood watch. Oy, that doesn't sound good. Hey, don't shoot me in the face. Let me get my real gun out. Can I trade with you now? Okay. I can. And some fuel, some energy drinks. Good. Okay, um, let's take the fuel. I think we take... Yeah, we definitely take the energy drinks. Ooh, the coffee. Okay, that could come in handy. I think we take all these explosives. Why not? Okay. Let's see if we could sneak over to the van. And this might be sort of the event of the night. I want to attack most of the plague hearts during the day. I'm never this slow and sneaky, but I'm reading your comments. Bro, look at all that. This is suspenseful. I'm like ready to pop up and sprint. If, oh, I hear, oh my gosh, dude. Dude, where did they come from? Not cool, bro. <laughs> yeah, we're sneaking. That's crazy, man. Loaders be popping. This dude's chilling here. See if we can. We got a dude behind me. Some nasty sounds. Oh crap! Oh dang! You scared the heck out of me, dude. I forgot she was following me. I was like, "What is that?" Oh my gosh. Okay, that could have been bad. Let's see. Um, can I just drop that straight away? I just need some space. I know it's got the suppressor on it, but... Ah, darn it. Okay. I need these. Let's store... What do we got? Box mines. Whistling box mines. Let's store these. Let's grab some of these. I need more ammo. Let's drop this. And honestly, we haven't needed coffee. I'm going to drop it here. I hope it stays there. Like, I hope all this stuff stays here, but you never know. I don't know if I should use one of those yet or not. You never know if it's actually going to stay. Okay, let's take a good amount of this. And honestly, if we had a molly combined with this guy, that would be awesome. Okay, we can store something else in there. Um, we'll store that rifle. Oh, crap. Okay, that noise scared me. I'm full. Okay, I'm going to leave it as it is. With that huge horde of Juggernaut and Feral sitting right there, we're just going to try to get in our car and get out of here. Yeah, 
There's that feral hanging over there. There's a screamer to the right. I know there's a juggernaut in the area. I'm just going. What kind of car you drive, Becca? Yeah, it's a murder pack. Becca drives an Audi. Because we Audi! 